Hi folks, I'm Sean McCormack. Welcome to the Lightroom Blog channel here on YouTube. In this video, I'm going to take a look at a little trick that will help you set your dynamic range really quickly in your landscape images. So I have an image here that I've shot in Iceland. There's very, very little processing being done to it. I've just cropped it, so I've pressed OR to bring up the crop tool and you can see exactly what I've done so far. You can even see that there's spots all over. It's pretty messy. So this trick is going to help us fix something that we can see by looking at both the image and by looking at the histogram. It's very, very flat and low contrast. Everything looks like it's a shade of grey almost. So we can see we've got a big gap here in the blacks, so there's nothing in the blacks and there's nothing in the whites. So we need to fix our white point and black point. And here's a way of doing it automatically and then tweaking to taste. So what you do is you hold down the shift key and double click on whites. So you can see that's brought the range the whole way over in the whites. So we now have our tones brought the whole way right as far as the white point. And again, I'm going to repeat the process, but this time with the blacks. So I'm holding down the shift key and I double click on blacks. Now it's essential that you double click. So we can see here that this has now brought it down. So we have a little bit of clipping going on. And if I click on that little marker, we can see it's over here. So it thinks this is the darkest part of the image, which is an area in the sky. Now, obviously, this image is not actually that dark. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring the blacks back up again until it's just gone in the corners there. OK, that's fine. And then the whites are probably a little bit bright as well because there's nothing that's actually white in the image. So I'm just going to bring that down ever so slightly. So I press the backslash key. We can go between a before view and an after view. And we can see that that's greatly increased the contrast in the image. And by doing it automatically, we've got a good idea what it could look like, and then we can tweak from there. Thanks for watching. If you liked it, do hit the thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. If you want to get a notification, do click on the notifications bell. You can also check out my presets if you like. They're good for portraits and things like that. I really, really like them. I use them all the time myself. And uh, if you haven't come across my book before, I've got a book called The Indispensable Guide to Lightroom CC, published by Rocky Nook. Thanks for watching.